and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jace Lux, our first Jace deck. That's right, uh, we're going to be heading on over to Ranked trying out the newest champion in Legends of Runeterra. We're going to be playing two different Jace decks today, plus also a Victor Heimer deck. I should uh, cover that up though so it doesn't block the deck list. So we're going to be playing some, some Ranked over here with the newest cards. Um, Jace Lux is just like the, you know, the champion pairing that a lot of people have been talking about whenever just kind of reading uh, Jace out of the gates. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to try out this list. Uh, this list has a lot of new cards in it. We got Forge Chief, Pharos Financier, which Pharos Financier is just absolutely incredible. We're going to be playing that in every deck for sure. The Forge of Tomorrow, and then we'll have Jace Assembly Line and Shock Blast, which is Jace's, Jace's champion spell. So lots of good stuff. Um, trying out this list first. This is from this specific list was from um, uh, Sai Goomba in our Discord channel that said that they went nine and one yesterday playing this list. So I was like, all right, we'll just go go ahead and try it out. It's got a lot of new cards. Let's just see how they kind of interact together, and let's see how all these six plus cost spells work with both Jace and Lux. So here we go. We'll go head on over to ranked and play five games over there. Gazer, I'm doing great. Doing great, ready to, you know, try out some uh, new Jace decks today. All right, this hand's looking good. I think I'll send the time trick back just to start with. But I want to keep all these bodies. All right, looking good. I was thinking about mulliganing the Vanguard Sergeant also. Maybe I should, because I kind of want to play Eager Apprentice on two, Financier on three. The only thing with that is um, if they play like the, on round three, if they play like the three mana, three, three predict, maybe we want the um, Vanguard Sergeant to match up against that predict. <laughs> yeah, the AI emoting me all the time feels kind of creepy in the labs. Yeah, that is pretty weird, isn't it? Alright, so our plan has now turned into... Um, Jace on four, Lux on five, Remembrance, or... You know, one of these on six, right? Because it's good to have Lux in play before you start casting six plus cost spells, I suppose. Okay. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. So we're gonna be taking the hit from the Rexai. Never mind. That's still not that bad. You know, like, just getting rid of two of their cards for one of mine. I could technically play the Remembrance right now. Maybe that's not so bad. Let's go and do that. Yeah, get a nice little scout 5-5. Five five. That's not bad. It's a lot of damage. So, we imagine they have another pike. And or... Uh, the Bone Skewer. Ooh, maybe they don't. They just need to trade to not die, because, you know, pressure them pretty good. So that's pretty nice, getting that Remembrance to trade with the Pike. We will take that. Speaking of Remembrance. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I wasn't sure exactly which one to, to bolt. You know, like, the 4-2 is the obvious thing to bolt there. But I could bolt the 5-6 and then block it to trade with it. It's probably the 4-2. It's probably the better thing to block to do. We had a really good hand, really good curve. I could see, you know, like, this kind of Bandle City deck making a comeback here, honestly. Uh, like, this kind of deck with uh, the Bandle Tree, the Landmark. Because if people are, everybody's playing like these slower Heimer Lux J stacks, you know, you have time probably to win with the landmark. Happy to do whatever's needed. Yeah, so maybe we should be, maybe we should have Aftershock in our deck. I should make a speech. I'll wait on this assembly forge. Good dude. Good to kind of wait. Um, do we want to kill this mayor though? Making everything cost one less. The only reason not to is that they play like a poppy. Nah, we should. Yeah, we, we really should. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. Let's go! Grab my hat! Comb my mustache! It's an awesome day for progress. Watch your back! We usually call those days for progress simply progress days. Okay, so we're gonna get Lux in play. Man, triple mayor. Together we are united. Hang on, <laughs> we're rolling. I just really want to kill these mayors. I don't want them to be able to have the one less cost. On everything. Better, brighter than before. It does mean that they don't necessarily have to play a unit now, and then I waste my final spark. Like that's the problem with going that route. Where if I play like assembly line, then we make a final spark that kills the mayor. And so maybe I should just be going that route. Look, a thing. Elf, I hit assembly line. Else. Okay, good. Wow. Uh, excuse me? I would like to pass and make them burn a card, but I think we have to do damage to them. So yeah, if I would have passed, we would have had them burn a card. But I think we have to, you know, be aggressive with them being Vandal Tree, so I uh, could have passed and they would have wasted that card. Alright, line up, you little chumpers. Okay, so we get to trade with both of these. Shoot that thing. And then we'll have four mana remembrance. Yeah, and they wanted me to block with Lux. What's up, Raiding Guardian? Go ahead and attack for eight. Ow. Oh, they're only at four? Wow. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Alright, well, I think we have a little bit of time. I could, you know, like, basically, like, these do three to the Nexus, right? So my plan is, like, three to the Nexus, three to the Nexus. Um, 
That's not bad. That's also not bad. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Hmm. Oh no! They're gonna make me discard the other one. That's rude. Alright, this can do three to the Nexus. A lot of cards can do three to the Nexus. Alright, that also means no Ionia for them. I don't really know how they're staying alive. And neither do they. Good old two and O. Oh. GG's. Okay, now we have our first Jace Mirror. They're playing Heimer with Bandle City. We're of course playing Luxo Demacia. I think I like our hand. We're gonna be playing Jace Heimer later. Our version of Jace Heimer that we're playing, it's, it's a Viewer's Minute Donation deck, but it's going to be with Shadow Isles and using Piercing Darkness instead of uh, Bandal City. I don't really like the first or the last card, so I guess we'll take this Hextech Anomaly. I'm not sure exactly how much I like it, but we'll kind of see. So does it change card? Okay, so it does change card, so it's... Really weird wording. A 5 1 quick attack. I think we should just bolt that. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. So basically getting my champions in play before we start assembly lining and stuff. They really want to give me this reinforcements. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Oh, my guess progress day. Hey, figured out the clutch in that thing yet? Get on in. You can tell me. That was like the worst worst card for me to see them hit is the Shock Blast. I wouldn't mind them hitting like anything else. The Shock Blast, unfortunately, was definitely the, the worst thing, though. Because, you know, ha hitting like one assembly line, we have the other assembly line. That would have been a lot better. And so, yeah, you think they're going to Mystic Shot? Yeah, so they're Mystic Shotting Lux there. But we have good attackers. They block like my 2-2. Let's get started. Take 12. Okay, they're blocking that thing. Down to 8. <laughs> they really want me to have Molten Breath also. I don't really want Molten Breath. Alright, so doing that to level up Jace, get the uh, Jace spell. Acceleration Gate. Alright, and that will do. Going too wide for them. We are 3 and 0 oh with our Jace Lux. Teemo Swain. Teemo Swain, super cool. We don't really have any Nexus healing, so I could see Puff Caps being a problem. I like the hand. 
I just hope they don't have, you know, like a one damage thing to kill the Forge Chief immediately. Which they definitely could. I hope they don't. Let's get to work. Pass. Or play Teemo. Pass. Pass. No. They had it. Oh. Golly. Yeah. Poison Dart. That's the name of the card. If we didn't have the attack token round one, right, I would have waited till round two, of course, and then been able to have sharp sight also to protect it, but we had the attack token round one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so we were talking about the uh, prismatics, because uh, we just had a rare prismatic that upgraded to epic, and which doesn't actually feel like an upgrade. And like Cabo was saying here, it's like champion's the best prismatic, of course, but then it's like champion, then rare, then common, then epic. Epic's like, don't. There's not like tons of like great epics. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and Mystic Shot this Teemo. And I'll just kind of hold on to these remembrances and stuff. Oh, I guess, I guess because of this, if I would cast the six cost spell, then we would refill three spell mana and I could still Mystic Shot and or Sharp Sight. But of course, I want to have Lux in play before we start doing all that kind of stuff. Let the light guide you. And just hoping they don't have many more for the Lux. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. Don't touch what ain't yours. It's not really worth attacking with the Lux, and then they like pokey stick it. It's not. It's just not worth messing around with that. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. Don't touch what ain't yours. I've been hiding my light too long. We're getting a loofed over here. Hmm. So that probably means scorched earth. I'm just gonna let it happen. I don't think that's worth a prismatic barrier. You know, we do have the backup Lux. Nothing like the great outdoors. Great, huh, my foot. Things ain't like they used to be. I'll scout ahead. Shock Blast. I don't know, maybe we should be taking the other card. The the two two. Just kill me. So I'm down to ten. So this is going to get Ravenous Flocked. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Yeah, whenever, well, yeah, whenever Lux levels up, it goes from a 3-5 to a 4-6, so it'll keep that, it keeps that 4-6 uh, stats permanently. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Wow, no flock in response. I was definitely expecting a flock in response to that. No, they're just drawing more cards. They've only dealt three damage as far as um, you know leveling up Swain's concern. So, because you'd assume like they wanted to have the Swain in play, then Leviathan. Keep on casting six cost spells. 
Oh, now they scorch earth. Going to the light. Now they have scorched earth. But they only have three mana left, so I don't know what their plan is. Very kind of you to grace us with your presence, my lady. Axel, shut up. Hmm. So we could attack out, or we could exactly play this Jace, create the acceleration gate, and then acceleration gate. Like, I don't even know, like, what's... Like, why are you... Uh, I mean, it's like, why not play the acceleration gate, right? They go... Like, I play this, they play Sentry. I don't know, this thing made double stun, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll just attack. All right, that will do. We are four and zero. Oh. Playing acceleration gate would have been so much cooler, though. So I, I have regrets about that. Okay, now we're facing Poppy Lux with Demacia, Bandle City. Shock Blast good at killing Poppy, but it's pretty expensive way to kill Poppy. Let's send that back. Send this back. And I kind of want to keep these two. You know, we do right now nothing on one, nothing on two. We'd have Sergeant on three. Then we could have Shock Blast on four. Which could kill a Poppy. Okay, so we're not exactly going to have that curve anymore with withdrawing this finance here. I mean, give it all is like the coolest thing. It's a people problem. But I guess man. just getting a 5 5 is going to be okay. Yeah, it's, so this unlicensed innovation is basically remembrance. Soldiers, it's, me. it's the not quite as good remembrance. It's good to be the king. Let's get moving. Gonna cost you. That's pretty good for them. And this, of course, is a real awkward round for me. Right now. Oh. So we're both pretty good. Let's take the Forge of Tomorrow. Something into a five four. Everywhere I go, the light follows. We can do this into battle with hearts aglow. This is my choice. All right, so everything costs six. Really hope they don't have mini morph. Just let this happen. Cool. Not cool. Better, brighter than before. Oh, final sparks can, can just do damage to the Nexus now, can't they? Forget about that. Back. 
I don't think we're gonna win this. <laughs> yeah, I don't do not think we're gonna win this. I really don't need any of these. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Happy to do whatever's needed. That's really good. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we've got this one. That Poppy really made a, a huge difference with you know giving that Lux plus one plus one. The Poppy of course gave itself the plus two plus two. You know, just made a big big difference in this game. That round four Poppy attacking. Really need, you know, Mystic Shot to shoot the Lux. I wish I would have taken Mystic Shot before, kind of, but I guess. Okay, that's the best card to hit there. What wondrous discoveries await below? Out. Now we still have to deal with the shell folk, but we'll kind of figure that one out as we go along, I suppose. Strike for justice. <laughs> Poppy making a difference with a surprise, yeah. Yep, the Poppy got us, and these Concerted Strikes as well. I'd like to play the Remembrance while it has, you know, like the minus cost, but I think we just need multiple bodies. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. That was both a poor draw and we got a puff cap. Come on then. Scarpa for us, smack you. So I, I assume this game's over. Yeah. Alright, so four and one's not bad. We'll take it. Take it. Disappointing last game, because I think that a majority of the time we can probably win that matchup. I, you know, I don't know about that, but you know, like I think that we got a lot of really good stuff for that matchup, but just a, our worst hand <laughs> out of um, all of them. So that's going to happen. All right, you know, GG's. Uh, let's see. Anyway, um, our deck looked good, though. You know, it, it did. You know, like, a, basically all the other games besides that one, we were we were really um, going through our curve pretty well. We had our champions. Yeah, the Concerted Strikes were awesome for our opponent. That is a card that we could play as well. Um, that is true. We are playing Demacia. We could play that. Um, the Forge Chief didn't look great. You know, like, it, we, we just didn't... It died right away <laughs> every single time. We didn't really get to, you know, strike, refill the spell man or anything. So that was kind of disappointing. But I, I really liked Eager Apprentice. The, this Financier card is amazing. Um, even though that very last game, unfortunately, we had our two worst Financiers. We really hit some poor spells with it. Uh, of course, that last game. Um, Forge of Tomorrow looked great. Really liked that. And then, you know, Sargent was pretty good. And obviously our champions were awesome. Assembly, Line, Remembrance, and Shock Blast. All really good quality spells. All three of those looked very good. So that's how it is. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Jace Lux. If you've been playing Jace Lux, got other ideas, you know, feel free to put them in the comment section. Like I said, Saigoomba uh, made this deck, put it on, 
in the Discord channel and said they were 9-1 and one yesterday with it. We went 4-1 and one ourselves. So just, you know, pretty solid deck. And it's, it's uh, you know, pretty straightforward. You just got all threes except for just the one of Thermobeam. All right, but that's going to be it for Jace Lux. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.